introduce our president and CEO, Man of the Hour, Andy Albright. Yeah. Thank you. Would you uh, return her and give me a napkin? Please. Um, okay, we'll get ready to start with this activity call. I got a lot of stuff to share with you. Um, I've been posting stuff on band like crazy this morning, and um, it's all good stuff. There's new recruiting numbers are up. Um, the winners of the, um, not winners, but the, the 90 day Foresters Fuel Drag Race. Basically, we're going to Toronto, and there's going to be 40 of us going, and it's a Foresters recognition, so it's really all the production you do with Foresters. Last year, it was one of my craziest, funnest trips we took, um, and it's in April, so it's a 90 day boom, kind of gets your year off to a crazy, awesome start. All this is posted on band. Also, for the recruiting contest, it looked like I was number two in the country because I've got Mickey Mitchell recruiting and Will Dancy. Where's the Will? Will Will's recruiting like crazy and Mickey's recruiting like crazy. Well, we broke it out, so now Mickey is the number three recruiter in the country and Will is the number seven recruiter in the country. Now, Mickey and Will. We are going to tell them our secrets, but then we're going to outwork them and outpersonality them. Right. Does that make sense? Also, I have a, I'm going over this trust seesaw sheet that is available on band. And um, you can go on band, pull it down. I would print it out or at least, or just look at it. It's, there's a lot of words on it and it's a, it's a cool diagram. And, um, it's, it's, it's the personality part. It's how we win. But now let me explain something to you. I say even a blind hog could find a nut if he roots around enough. That's right. That means, what that means is anybody can recruit somebody if he talks to enough people. Somebody's going to do it. So even if you have a terrible personality, terrible trust, terrible voice, terrible enthusiasm, terrible conviction, you could still get somebody if you talk to enough people. Now, if you do this, if you talk to a lot of people and you have the right personality and the right conviction, the right trust and the right rapport, then you're going to just kill it. And that's what I plan on doing with my base. And I want to tell y'all everything I'm doing and how I'm doing it. Now. We have a tool right now that you can, you can get all your responders. Like if you can run crazy ads on Monster, Career Builder, Z, um, um, what's another one I'm thinking? Thanks. Zip Recruiter, Zip Recruiter Indeed, Glassdoor. If Glassdoor. What we're going to do is we're going to spend thousands and thousands and thousands to get people to respond to us. And then we're going to call them up, Drew. You tracking with me? young man. All right, and then what we do is, this tool, listen to this, Alex Abian, when you see, I, I told Jeff Bright this morning, I said, I almost don't want to tell him this tool is so powerful. It's like ganning out machine guns to people. It's like DuPont has discovered um, um, uh, gunpowder. You don't want the other team to have gunpowder. You, you, you keep all the power and the control, but I'm going to tell you all about it, okay? What you need to do is you need to contact Chris Hill, listen to me, I'm not kidding. Mickey, Will, and let's see who else our top recruiter. Lucero, number three, Lucero is number 18 in the company. Lucero, we've got to get you up to the top, buddy. All right, watch this. You can download all the phone numbers off of your responders and put it into a list, okay, an Excel spreadsheet, and download these things into a text blast. It's Crazy! I've not seen anything like this since when Monster and Career Builder first came out and people were responding like crazy. So what you do is you put all your responders, first of all you call them all fast as you can. You also put them in a, um, a spreadsheet and you hit send and you just say, are you still interested in that job? Or, hey, we never did talk about that job. Hey, we need to chat about that job. And when they respond, you call them right then to pick up. It's crazy. Abian, when you see how this works, if I were you, I'd drive down here right down and see this. It's crazy, dude. It's a recruiting machine. Now, right now, Riddle's, Riddle's number one in the country. Riddle, 
You put this in your arsenal. You're already smoking everybody. Mike and Noel are a close second with 11, and then Mickey Mitchell is number three. The Drudges, Eric and Lisa, they are number four. Um, Abian is number five. Cater is number six. Uh, Will Dancy is number seven. Brant and Jail are number eight. Adam and Beth are number nine. And John Thorman down there in, in, uh, in Florida is number ten. So I am telling you, texting is a secret, Abian. I'm telling you, but this tool, I don't know if you know this tool. This tool's stupid, dude. I'm not kidding you. you I can wheel around to my desk, hit boom, and I can text out 250 texts, and they come back into my computer so my corporal tunnel don't have to kick in and my fingers and try to thumb that thing and talk text. You just type it on a big computer. Dude, it's crazy. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down, I have a heart attack. All right. Abian said he's already using it, and that's part of the reason he's spanking everybody's butt. See, what we try to do as a team is share our crazy secrets so we can blow this thing up to a billion dollar company. And then we, we don't tell nobody outside of the alliance, right? It's us. But then we try to blow it up, and then we work our butt off making this stuff happen. In other words, we get the tools. I'm telling y'all, that thing is crazy when you see it. Um, and it's real, real cheap. We got, we, if you're using it, we can probably get it to you for 60% off. See the 50% or 60% off that you could get it anywhere and get us just talk to Chris Hill and he'll hook you up with it. It's crazy for recruiting. Okay. Uh, also, hey, hey, here's the other thing. It's crazy once you contract people to send messages to them too and just touch and base with them. Now, talking to people live is a secret, but when they respond to the text, you can talk to them live. You can get in touch with them. Okay, all right. Um, also, if you're on the West Coast, I made a comment Sunday. I said, for the top recruiters on the West Coast, if you're number one, if you win $10,000, then I'll give you another $1,000. I want to modify that. That's, this is crazy. You're not going to believe this. As a matter of fact, I was looking at it posted on a band and it said, is this real? I just posted it on band. It says, is this real? Let me read it to you. Is this real? Let me see right here. Add as a number. I'm going to make it as an important notice so you can find it up at the top. It says, West Coast only. Hawaii, Alaska, California, Oregon, Nevada, and Washington. I am going to fly my jet out on Tuesday before the convention. Let's see what date that'll be. Oh, I think it's going on here. I'm going to send that out there on July the 15th. That's a Tuesday, I'm pretty sure. Let me make sure. July 15th. I'm going to send the jet. I'm talking in 24-7 RU. I'm going to send it out there on a Tuesday the 14th. What's posted is wrong, okay? I'm going to send it out there on a Tuesday. I'm not going to send it on a Wednesday. I'll, I'll make that modification. I'm going to send it on Tuesday the 14th. On the 15th, I'm going to send it to Vegas. That's where I'm going to send it, Las Vegas. And you should come to Vegas on the on the 14th also, the 15th, that morning, I'm going to fly the top three recruiters. So the top three recruiters on the West Coast are going to jump in in 24-7 for a private ride back to the, to the family reunion. I'm going to fly from Vegas to Dallas, Texas, and I want the number one recruiter in Dallas to jump on the plane so that'll be four couples. So the number one recruiter, if it's you, DJ, you just got to get to Vegas on the 14th, on the 15th, Wednesday morning, we're flying you in to Burlington. If it's the Carries, if it's the Krauses, if it's, if it's the Buellis, who is it? If it's Magyar, if it's my, my men out there and, and, and men and women out there in Hawaii, all you got to do is get to Vegas on the 14th. That morning at 8 a.m., the bird is taking off to Dallas. We're going to Dallas, Texas, and we're going to pick up Diane Lempe, the number one recruiter in Texas, and fly her in first class. Wait a minute. It could be Paul Roberts. Wait, it could be Michael Alleman. Wait, wait, wait. You say, what if I live in Oklahoma or Tennessee? Well, you're not in the contest. This contest is of people on the West Coast and people in Texas. Does that make sense? You understand what I'm saying? Yes, so if you live in another state, you don't need to worry about that. Right. On the other hand, but let's say you live in North Carolina. You ought to be the number one recruiter because you're right here 
that gives you ten thousand dollars and then if you get the most people to family reunion that gives you another ten thousand dollars that's an extra twenty thousand dollars on the side extra twenty thousand dollars if i was you i'd be trying to win that on top of that all these people are in your hierarchy and you're building your massive organization y'all tracking on this we're giving away a hundred and four thousand dollars on a on a recruiting competition and we're giving away um i don't even know it's going to cost me twenty thousand dollars to fly the jet out to vegas then to dallas and then back to burlington y'all let me know if y'all big on that i'm i'm fired up about it so it is posted on band. The dates are wrong. That's the only thing I'll tell you. I'm going to fly it out on Tuesday. We're going to fly back on a Wednesday. And, and we're going to cut that contest off. And it's based on recruiting. We're going to cut that contest off on June 30th. So you'll know who's going to jump on a jet and who needs to get down there on the 14th. Because that, that'll give you two weeks to book your... Um, to book your um, flight to Vegas and then you jump on a jet. West Coast Contest, anybody, that, and you say, what's, how are you in it? You gotta be in one of those states. You, that's where you live in one of those states, then you are in that contest. All right, let's talk about, let's talk about, Lee Reyes says he's gonna be in that jet. Let's talk about how to get people to move I put this, I posted this thing called the Trust Seesaw. And what I'm what, what I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to convey to you where me and Jeff Bright see people screwing up, talking to Goat about this, talking about Dr. Caracas Watkins, and then it's watching people. And especially these golden retrievers. I'm gonna have a word with you. Okay? <laughs> Here's the deal, Kyle. You got to praise people, but you got to get people to do something. And I'm usually like, hey, man, how y'all doing? Good to see y'all. Nice. Glad y'all. All right, let's talk about killing this thing. You with me? These golden retriever types, you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. First, you praise them a little bit. They'll start praising you, talking about you, loving on you. <laughs> and you're like, what are we doing here? Get around to the part where you tell them to do something. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. They're blah, 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 blah. Okay, look. So what I'm going to tell you is we're going to flip it on you. I want you to start with the expectations. Don't do like I do. Start with, if you're a golden retriever or, or kind of a, you know, I'm, how do, what's another nice word, Viviana, call them golden retriever? Mm. That's what they are. Mm. Soft, yeah, softies. Are huh? Do what? Softies. 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 If you're one of those softies, <laughs> instead of starting with the softy mess, and getting us all lost in that crap. Start with the expectations and then be nice. Now we had one on the phone yesterday, and I told him what to say to the person. I was role. I said role play back. Oh my God, he was just blah blah. I said no, no, that's what's killing you right there. You're not telling nobody what you want. Okay. Now this is a lot, a lot of psychological mumbo jumbo up there in here. It's hard to read. Jeff Bright drew it all out for me. He said, "This is how your brain works." I said, "These people's minds jacked up." He said, "All right, we're going to try to explain it to them." Okay. Jeff said, "Why people? Why people who respond to prayer?" I can't read all this. All right, all right. Pay attention to me. All right. Look at this. Look at this seesaw. Can y'all pull it up and look at it? You can't see it on your phone. Let me show it to you. Who's got a copy of it? Who's got an extra copy of it? You got an extra copy? Let me have an extra copy. All right, there's your extra copy right there. Oh, you gonna put you gonna put it on screen? Oh, that's crazy talk right there. Way to go, Chelsea. <laughs> okay, we got it on screen now. How about that? Okay, you see over to the left where it says why, and over to the right says what? Why? Is this belief like we could get rich? Hey, we could we could do good and tell them about Jesus. Hey, hey, we could do good and give money to the homeless. Hey, 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 we could take care of our family and pay for their colleges. <laughs> okay, you with me? I got you. Over on the right side is where you actually do something about it and quit talking. See where it says over there on what? On the way right side? 
That's where you do something. Now, I'm telling y'all, you get a guy who do what he believe and believe what he do, that's who he is. Does that make sense? You get a guy who do what he say and say what he do. Remember what Cleveland Clary say? Do what he say, say what he do. Is this, like, is this who you are or is this just what you're saying? Is your, is your gums just slapping and making your teeth go together? Or are you doing it? Okay, let me watch this. You look at a balanced person, you look over to results, they're booking 25 appointments a week, a minimum of 20. A person that's out of balance and jacked up, we might as well take that thing and crop, just break it right over that, that triangle. You with me? Just break it. It ain't no good because the person's not doing what they said they would do. They ain't backing it up with the do. All they do is the talky, 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 talky. Now, if you're doing the do and you're a bad person, it's going to break. If you're not doing it for the right reasons, if you're just saying, oh, I just want to make me money and I'm going to pile up the money and I'm greedy, well, that ain't going to work. So it's got to be that balance between the what and the do. So when you're recruiting people, you got to take, okay, so let's, let's look at this. So you could put praise on the left side. That's the why. And you can put expectation on the right side. Okay? So if you balance praise and expectation, you'll kill it. But if all you do is, I want to tell everybody, this person worked for me one time, I said, I just want everybody that works here to feel safe, like they can't get fired. I was like, that's not going to work. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, if you don't do the do part, you got to go. Does that make sense? Now, in the commission world, we just let you go broke. Because we're not going to fire you, but we do laugh at you. Usually behind your back, you understand, because you're not getting accomplished in anything. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to be nice about it, but I'm trying to tell you the truth too. I'm going like, how could a person be broke? How could a, it's embarrassing? How could a person be broke? I love this company. It's a great company. They're not booking 25 appointments. They're not booking 20 appointments. Like you got a job here. Your job is to book the appointments. Look, you say, well, I don't want you to be mean to me. That's why I left my job. I thought you left the job because they didn't have a good why. I thought you didn't like their culture. I thought you didn't like their attitude. I didn't know you were scared of work. My dad said, you scared of work or you scared of money? <laughs> Which is it? You scared to make money? You scared of work? You're lazy. Which is it? Job mentality is not bad. The que the, if you're in a job where people don't care about the right stuff, doing the right thing for the right reasons, giving money away, giving money to universities, giving it to preachers, Paying for helping the homeless get back to work. You see what I said? Get back to work. <laughs> I ain't trying to take care of him. I'm trying to get him back to work. Get up off of it. Go get you some psychological counseling. I'm going to get you one of these dead gum HMA cards. This HMA cards, you get a psychiatrist. $76 a session. Right up in here. Get you an HMA card. Anybody got an HMA card? Y'all want to hold it up? Show? Show? How come y'all ain't got your HMA cards? I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all need these HMA cards. You, you got to carry them around. You with me? Oh, by the way, this ties right in. Go back to my triangle pyramid there, Chelsea. This, this coin, that's the one I'm going to keep going back to is the, the pyramid. The, the, the what, the, 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 um, the, the what do I want is on the Y side. The how do I get it is on the right side. So look, 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 and you say, well, you got how on both sides and why on it's, it's not, it, it seems contradictory. Once you understand this, this is simple. Okay, let's go over here on the, oh, by the way, if you want to put my books with it, circle book is way over to the left. The house book is the second, it's the first how right there. And then you go all the way over to the next how over to the right where it has action, that's the MMM book, and then the very end is the eight steps book. What you do, the eight steps, that's how you get rich, okay, if you hadn't read the eight steps. All right, so let's, let's look at this thing and try to see if I can, um, so the reason to move is on the left, that's your why, and then how to move is over on the right where you got the how and the what. You see where, um, Let's go over here to the right where it says action is, is backed up by your conviction or your view, backed up behaviors based on your emotion. So what I'm telling you is when you watch me, there's no 
there's no indecision about this business. You ask me a question, I answer it. You ask me a question, I answer it. You ask me a question, I answer it. And other people, and I've seen it, some of our leaders that make 200,000, 300,000, 400,000, and some broke people too, but you know, they, even those guys, they, 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 they stutter. They, they, um, and I don't mean like a person that stutters, but I mean like they, they, they hesitate. They don't know. And, and they question stuff. Oh, I got some of these people, even some people make four or five hundred thousand. Well, I ain't doing it. Ain't, oh, God. It, once you understand the how and the convictions and the behaviors, it's just click, click, click. This is not complicated. This is print money, okay? So, so there's two different sides. Let's look at this. We could say recruiting and building the identity base. We could say selling the identity base. And I've got some that are really good at recruiting, can't sell or won't sell. I don't know if they're scared of money or don't want to work. And you got people as far as recruiting. And I don't know if they're scared of money or they won't, don't want to work. You with me? Okay, so when it, comes to, when it comes to selling, you go over here to the how and the action and the what and the results and the outcome and the meaning. All on the right side of that form, you can see that's the guys that are putting up the numbers. Like when it says DJ Jennings, Right? Okay. Well, if over on the right side, if you look at the recruiting numbers, those are the ones that are convicted. See the word convicted. Convictions and views. They're convicted that you as an individual can't make as much money as a hundred people. Duh. Gonna have to recruit somebody. Now, the ones that, cut, that hire a few and set on them like chickens and they're gonna try to hatch them. They get them, keep them warm. They ain't gonna hatch. These are people. People don't hatch. What you do is you gotta hire a bunch of people, like what Riddle's doing. He's convicted. And you have people say, well, how many of those people did he convert? How many did you get them to sell? More than you did. That's the answer. That's why he's rolling in money. I see what everybody makes. Matter of fact, I got a spreadsheet now. I can see what everybody made this year. Got your 1099 numbers in front of me. I was fired up about it. Some people printing some money. Woo! And by the way, that glow bonus is real. I was looking at some people. I didn't think they was doing nothing. As a matter of fact, they ain't doing much of nothing. But they got a glow bonus coming in. I said, Dad, gum. That's a lot of money coming in not to be doing anything, you know? It, it was it's shocking to me. Um, my statistician said, Andy, we're concerned about these people. They're not making much money. And then when I looked at who it was and how much their check was, I was like, ooh, that's a lot more than I thought they was making. It wasn't low. It was high. <laughs> I was like, gum, bro. This thing's real. Okay. All right, let's go. You're going to go back to my pyramid. Um... Oh, I know what. Let's, can you go to a different page? Can you go to page two? No, page, yeah, page, page two. That'd be a good one to go to. Page two. Oh, 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 I got to tell you something else. You get page two. I also posted the F&G study group. You don't, you don't need to worry about it. It's on band. Don't, just stay right here, Chelsea. You're good. I posted it on band. It's the F&G study group. I want to tell you all something. We made a terrible blunder. All right, at the at the the um, family reunion, I'm mean, not the family. The national convention was unbelievable. The award ceremony was unbelievable. I was so proud of our team, but we screwed up on one. We left out Ashley Bill and Brandon Bill, or Brandon Bill and Ashley Bill. We left them out of the recognition. Being they were actually number one in the country in IUL sales, and we gave it to the wonderful Sydney and Justin Bailey, and they was up there as number one and got the nicest trophy. And that's cool because it was really number two, but they still got a nice trophy. But Brandon and Ashley, um, we owe you. So what I want to do is invite you and Ashley to dinner with me and Jane. We just got to we'll, we'll work on a date. I'll, I'll turn it over to Missy, and she'll set it up. She'll coordinate Jane's schedule and your schedule, and we'll get together in Florida at the um, at the St. Pete at the Treasure Island. You can, have, you can have dinner with us on the island, or we'll do it here in, in Burlington. We'll have dinner with us in, in uh, North Carolina out at our house. But we want to get together with y'all and tell you, we really hate that. Congratulations. I'm glad that you guys, you're number one in the country, and uh, we'll make that right. We'll get you that trophy, too. We'll get you that number one trophy. But I also want to add the meal in there. Okay. All right, so that's posted F&G study group. Okay, now watch this. You understand the way this works. I just worked with him on the trust side, like as in we apologize and we got to make it up. That makes sense? 
A lot of people don't do that on the trust side. Now, he knows I'm on his case about recruiting and building a massive organization. So that's where I'm balancing my expectations with the, with the left side of my praise side. If you don't balance, if you don't have expectations, people are not going to do nothing. People are going to rise to the expectations set on them, or they're going to fall to the expectations set on them. You expect, Drew, I'm expecting some stuff out of you, bro. Well, how old did you say you were? 19? Yes, sir. Well, my God, I act like 40 years old. Does that make sense? People say that to me when I was like your age. I said, you're like an old man. I'd be like, I'm going to have old man money, too. Does that make sense? All right. Um, all right, let's, let's go. Let me tell you why this is. What this is, why trust, with trust comes a sense of value, real value, not just values equated to money. So like this, watch this. So me and Adam Katz have real value. Me and Stephen Davies have real value. Me and Jason Carey have real value. It's called a relationship. We have a relationship, not just money. We've got a relationship. Relationships, at the end of the day, at the end of your life, what you're going to look back is your relationships. What makes you warm and feel good today is relationships, not just money. But that gets money. Relationships gets money. Value, by definition, is the transference of trust. You have to earn trust by communicating and demonstrating your shared values. Most of these ding-dong lunatics on Facebook and, and Instagram and on the phone, they find out what's the difference between me and you. I hate you because you love Trump. I hate you because you don't love Trump. I got you Trump right here with your little dollar bill thing right there. <laughs> you, you with me? They, they try to find out what's wrong, what's different about me and you. I'm not like that. I don't like chicken. I'm allergic to seafood. Like, bro, you like bread? I like bread. Let's talk about bread. <laughs> Why you want to talk about what you're allergic? You understand what I'm saying? You black, I'm white. You like money? Yeah. What color is that? Green. How about a little like, bumping on that? That's what I'm talking about right there. <laughs> Dude, what, what are we going to talk about that for? Let's talk about what's right. I got a couple other things in common with you too, I know. Woo! Does that make sense? It's things we have in common that builds the trust and the values. Now, this last sentence. You have to talk about your why and you got to do your do. See, here, here's, here's why some of you can't pit people trust you. You say, listen to this. This business is awesome. You can make some money. I'm not making any because I'm not doing anything. You see where trust is? Falls off a cliff. People going like, that fool right there, he talking talk, but he ain't doing the walk. Mm -hmm. You understand this? I am telling you, the balance between the talkie and the walkie is what makes a trusty, and the trusty is what gets people in a movie. And when people movie, that's where you make the money. Does that make sense? People sitting on their rear end. I told this one guy, I said, I'm going to tell you, I don't even want to say it, but I'm going to say it on public television. Assholes and elbows. <laughs> that is two of the most motivating things in the world. Show them your rear end and show them your elbows. You with me? That's a, that is motivating to people. Now, if you're Ric Flair and you can talk to talk and then punch them in the face, does that make sense? If you can talk it and then walk it, baby, People are motivated. What they're not motivated by these little lizard wheeling around, roll over, pin himself, talking, talking, talking. They, they don't need that. Does that make sense? Or if you're killing it, but you can't talk to people. It's that balance is where it takes off. Okay, page three. Can you go to page three? All right. Why is a is just why is just a belief? How's are the actions we take to realize that belief, and what's the results? Okay, so the why is over where your belief is and what your values are. Like, I want my family to have better. Um, I want my family. I want my family to do good. I want them to be at the front of the line. I want them in first class. I want them in a safe car. All those whys is your belief. Do you believe? How is the action that backs up your why? Okay, so how would be your 20 appointments, 25 appointments, how would be getting that tool for texting, how would be running all kinds of ads, investing money, and then the what is when we're cranking out the sales. So it's the why and the how, it's, it continues on that how, why, and what spectrum. So balance, 
When you have balance between you're nice to people, the, the middle line, when all, when, when all three are in balance, trust is built and value is perceived. So when you talk about the how, which is your job, you got a job to run 20 appointments. You're, you're also, your job, the side hustle, we call it, that's where you recruit. Because you don't have to recruit to have plenty of money with us. A lot of these businesses, these multi-level marketing and network marketing, people say, you got to recruit to have money. You ain't got to recruit over here. You can make 200000 just selling. But you need a job to pay for your side hustle. I meet these people out there all the time, Drew. Your age and a lot, I mean, probably some of your friends. I'm just hustling. I'm hustling. You ain't got no money. You need to get a job is what you need to do. You need to get a dadgum resume and get your daddy, your cousin, your auntie, your uncle, whoever, somebody to help you get you a job. They say, I don't need a job. I'm going to build a business one day. Yeah, whatever. I ain't saying you got no money. You can't get, you can you better. Somebody's going to have to feed you. Does that make sense? You need to eat. You got a job. You, and if you've got a kids, I know you need a job. You say, what am I going to do with my side hustle? On the side, fool. That's what we call a side hustle. Down the middle, down the middle is the big rocks. Down the middle is what you've got to do to make the money. That's the job. Does that make sense? The how, and, then, and then the side hustle. So, all right. Why? Now, here's another thing. Did you see us just come out with... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, WWE, Worldwide Entrepreneurs. And you see me stroke that check. Now, y'all directed me, but I stroked that check for $26,000 toward WWE. That's the why right there. Right. And you see me do it. And then I turn around and write another check for $36,000 to Tim Goad, to the Goads International. That's conviction. That's the why over there. And then I turn around and I, and I, and I stay there Sunday, talky, 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 worky, worky, worky. You with me? That's my side hustle, getting those 1,500 people to do something. Does that make sense? That's, that's, that's where you get the trust. Okay. All right, let's move down to the last thing. The why and the what make up the ends of the seesaw. Trust being the, trust being the single pivot point. The hows with their two types of actions, values and convictions, drive the weight of the two ends in and out of balance. So take me back to the triangle, the pyramid scheme one more time. Chelsea. All right. So you see the two hows? There's a how of values and there's a how of convictions. There's a how of attitude and a how of behavior. We say how fun, make money, make a difference. Well, let's, let's go over on the attitude. That's the fun. The behavior is to make the money. Does that make sense? People are like, I love the alliance. I ain't got no money. There's not much trust that we have in you. I made a phone call to one of my buddies a couple days ago, and I said, bro, I hear you on your talky-talky. I'm not seeing you on your walkie-walkie. And I know you ain't got no money. I know you got kids. It's getting on my nerves. I'm trying to understand if I need to trust you. You can trust me. You can trust me. I said, you need to show me. What I was saying to him is, I hear you over on the left side about your attitude. I'm just watching you on the right side, and your action ain't took place. Trust is dwindling. Trust got a leak in the bucket, and it's going out of the bucket like pouring pee-pee out of a boot. You understand what I'm telling you? So when I'm talking to a person on the phone, and I'm recruiting them, I got a balance. I got expectations, and I got appreciation. I got praise and I got work. So I tell people, I'm talking to you and you're pretty articulate. Now when a guy's mumbling like this, I don't say you're articulate because that is not true. You know, if they can't talk or if you ask them a question and they go around in circles with you, this is what I'm interviewing, like when I'm recruiting, I say something to them like, Bo, you got the gift of gab. What I'm really saying is you're talking too much. You wouldn't, but I say you got the gift of gap. My question is, my question is, can you work? See the expectation? My question is, can you pass the test? My question is, do you have $50 on a credit card that you can get signed up in class today? We need to do it today. Can I just wait and go to a meeting or maybe sit? Yeah, you can. You can do that if you want to. But I trying to make money fast. And if you don't make money fast, you're going to have to move quick. And I see you're smart, and you talk good, and you got a good resume, and I'm glad you went to college. See, I'm, I'm, what I'm saying is, 
yay, 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 yay on this side. I need you to get in the class, okay? What a lot of people do, they get out of balance. They talk to them, talk to them, talk to them. How good they are and understand the mom and daddy. Nah, 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 nah. Get in during class. Does that make sense? Get him moving. Get a list. Get depth. The other thing is, like I'm telling you, if I'm talking to somebody, all I'm trying, I'm trying to get enough like and enough trust to get depth. I'm trying to get depth because you get one person, the chances of them being standard in the middle of that trust diagram, that trust pyramid, they're going to be off one end, off to the left end. My guess is if I can get him, if I can get another person, I got two chances. I get another person, I got three chances. So what I'm looking at, I'm, I'm, I'm back to that hog, a blind hog. Y'all understand what I'm saying about a blind hog. Y'all know what a hog is, right? The pig rolling around trying to get something to eat, and there's an acre over there in the corner, and he's blind. The hog is going to find it if he keeps rooting around. Does that make sense? But if there was more acorns, you got a better shot of a blind hog finding the acorn. Does that make sense? Well, that's like some of us. We like blind hogs. We need to run a lot of advertisements. This one, one, one of my buddies, he's talking about, Andy, I was thinking about getting a consultant to teach me how to run my organization. I said, I got an idea. Why don't you spend that money on some more advertisements? Hire somebody. Does that make sense? Like, I wasn't kidding. You got to hire some people, Bo. You need to invest a lot of money. You can cold contact people. You can meet them Waffle House. You can meet them Walmart. You can meet them gas station. You can meet them Uber drivers. Them Uber drivers are easy to meet. Everybody's trying to recruit Uber drivers nowadays. But you can get them in there. You can get them in the business. It's pretty easy. Or you can run advertisements. But either way, you might as well assume you're a blind hog. You're trying to find an acorn. You need a bunch of acorns scattered out over the, over the yard so you can find them. Because you really don't need to find more than one acorn. You know what I mean? If you're a hog, you need a lot to eat. Y'all tracking with me on this? Mm -hmm. All right, so big advertisements, and then when you talk to people, try to strike a balance between nice, nice, and do, do, so that you can get up on this pyramid. All right, let's, let's go, uh, give, me the, give me the pyramid, okay? Watch this. In the military, they take you through a breakdown. They break you on down. They call it basic training. They break you down, and here's the reason. Because when it comes time to go to war, and the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and the sergeant or lieutenant or whatever you call him, the commander-in-chief, colonel, he says, we're going to take that hill. He don't hear none of this. Well, let me ask you, sir. Suppose I had an idea. I mean, I just got an idea. You might get shot right there on the spot. Does that make sense? We done went through an evaluation of what that we're going to do, and this is a hill we're going to take. Go get it. See, they break you down and they say, here's what you got to do, and you go do it. There's no talky-talky. You with me? You might talky-talky like this. Whoa! Like that. That'd be your talky-talky, which um, Sarge told me, I can't, it means I'm going to do it or something. It means I can get it. <laughs> Command taken and accepted or something like that. He, he'll probably text me and tell me. Okay. Everybody's buying their ticket to Las Vegas on the West Coast because they're all going to fly on their jet. Let me be clear. It's only the top three couples. So if Jake Bell wins it, he can take, take Jake Krause, he can take Bell. If Tony wins it, she can take Jason. If Jason wins it, he can take Tony. So it's the top two couples are going to fly into Dallas and they're going to pick up the number one couple in Texas. Now, if it's a single lady, Diane Lampy, she can bring somebody else because we got room for a couple. Does that make sense? She jump on that jet, whoo, and we're going to fly you into Burlington, North Carolina. There's going to be a reception of people out in there for you, and we're going to have you a police escort with the blue lights a blazing. Woo, woo, woo. Police, no kidding. Police es escort over here to the Alliance. You come rolling in. Go crazy. That's, that's So you'll get here on Wednesday afternoon, so you're in here plenty of time for whatever activities are going on. So it's a free flight, no charge, in 24-7. I'm going to send a media person with you. They're going to film the whole thing. We're going to make a great video, and we're going to find out who the West Coast recruiters are. And if you're number one in the country, you get a free jet flight and $10,000. Woohoo! And then if you get the most people here at Family Reunion, and by the way, we are starting another leaderboard, and it's going to work like this. How many people have you, how many tickets have you sold to the convention? So every individual, we're looking at how many people are direct to you, how many tickets you've sold to Family Reunion. So that leaderboard will come out soon. And then how many people in your depth, in this new width, 
this new width and new depth, how many of them are signed up for family reunion? And that's, we won't know until you get here because we said you got to show up. But it'll give us a good indicator of who's winning to get them to show at family reunion. And then we'll do check-in. So when they check in, we, that's, who, that's who shows up. Okay. All right. Um, F and G study group. I got that. Oh, by the way, that's going to be at the um, Don Cesar. That's a beautiful place. The date for that. When are we going to be down there? That is going to be dates to be determined. That's this fall. It's like September 30th. I should have September 30th, October 1st, October 2nd. That is the anticipated dates. Okay. So here's a, here's a, here's the disconnect. Andy, I'm not a soldier, and you're not perfect. I, like, I got it. Do you understand that colonels and sergeants are not perfect? But if you're in a war and you can't execute, you're almost like part of the problem if you don't start executing. Does that make sense? Like, the more people we have that say, I just don't know if 20 appointments, I mean, I feel like I got money. I feel like I'm okay. I feel like I'm just going to do more of a side hustle. Well, here's the problem. You don't have a cash flow glow. Like, well, what you, I need to, I need, I need to get the trust developed in more people so that everybody attacks at one time so that now we are a force for good. You with me on this wheel? Like, people question, like, they'll say, do you really want me to run 20 appointments? Yes. I would like for you to run 30. But you want me to sell them, do a minimum of 20? Yes. And then you want me to spend 1000 a week on advertising for recruiting? Yes. Where am I going to get the money from? The 20 appointments that you ran. Duh. You're a smart person. You're a grinder. You're a worker. You got problems in your life. You need money. You see, in other words, I'm describing the answer to army men that are saying, I'm not sure I want that for my family. I'm not sure I deserve it. And I'm like, bro, forget whether you deserve it. We getting ready to take that hill. Does that make sense? So, so like, in other words, people say things like, well, Andy, listen, you know, I got, I knew I got emotional problems. You know, I used to do drugs, and I know some of you still do drugs. And you said, you know, you kind of hinting. I can tell. I go, I, I see your eyes. I know you're still using them. <laughs> I see how you act some days and you act different another day. I know you hooked on something. Well, that's why I'm not working. I, that ain't stopped you from doing nothing else. What's well, it going to stop you from working? Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Like if it ain't stopped you from running your mouth, you're here talking to me. Talking, 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 talking. Why don't you get on the phone, phone, phone? Does that make sense? Here's why. Because they question, question, question. Does that make sense? My daddy didn't love me. My daddy loved me too much. That's two different conversations, right? I didn't have a daddy left when I was little. Hey, it wouldn't make it worse if he left when he was older. You know? Like after he got to know you, then he was gone, right? We all got stuff. And we got some people out there act like they're perfect. They're like, oh, my, my mom and daddy, they've been married for 52 years. I'd be like, they ain't slept together in 47. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like everybody's got something. Does that make sense? Yeah. What? Is that personal? Man, no. That was... You know it's the truth. Yeah. Some people, it's the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> Everybody's got something. That's one guy. No, I ain't even going to say. <laughs> Everybody's got something. Does that make sense? My kids don't like My kids they don't like me no more. If you don't start selling... The bank ain't going to like you neither. How'd you like somebody at the bank call you up making fun of you, talking trash to you? You ever talk to a client? See you know what I'm saying? Listen, you say, Andy, you don't want people to get better. Oh, yeah, I do. I will, I will take and get them to talk to Jeff Bright. I'm going to get them to talk to Tim Goad. I'm going to get them a psychiatry card with the, with the HMA card. Y'all better come up with some HMA cards next time. Somebody getting ready. I'm getting ready to get upset. Do y'all understand how that works? You put money on it and they double your money. All of you got deductibles for health insurance. You're going to need that. And you're going to want to have a spaghetti supper at the church. All right, look at here. To raise money. You understand what I'm saying? That's what they do when they ain't got money to have a spaghetti supper at the church. I ain't got time for all that. Write a check. Okay. 
what I'm telling you is we want everybody to get better, but first we got to have a job. That's the appointments. Then we do the recruiting. Now some people say, well, I got problems, but now that I got money in the bank, I'm going to do some recruiting. That's genius right there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, what are you going to do about your mental health? Well, I don't know. You, you get a psychiatrist. You say, you recommend people get a psychiatrist? Yeah, sure. Why not? I got one one time until I talked to her for a while and I said, I think I know more than she knows about the situation. I'm moving on. Does that make sense? I think I was like, I think I read more books than she did. And plus, I talked to Jeff Bright. And I talked to Tim Goes. I was like, I ain't dealing with that no more. I might go back to him again if I get stuck again. Y'all with me? I want to also, I mean, I'll just tell you the truth. I want to be like Sopranos guy. You know, he had that psychiatrist lady that time. And it wasn't the same. I said, I got to go. Y'all with me on this? But one thing you ain't never accused Albright of is being scared of money or scared of working. I had to pay the bills when everything is going to hell in a handbasket. I had to pay the deals when the flood came. I had to pay the bills when the fire came. I had to pay the bills when mama wasn't liking me, when my neighbors were talking trash about me, lawsuits, legal problems, IRS problems, insurance carrier problems, issue rate problems. My best friend done turned on me and stabbed me in the back. Ow! I gotta go to work. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. My convictions, so what I'm looking for is more people on that side of the spectrum. Okay? Now, this is the last thing I'm going to tell you. Last thing I'm really working with you on. The only thing is if you are a softy, you got to lead with... Go back to the triangle. You, if you're a softy, you need to lead with the what and the results and the expectations and get it out of the way and then be nice to them. I'm kind of crazy on the how and the what, meaning I'm crazy on the expectations. So I lead with, hey, y'all, how you doing? Good. And you kind of tell I'm just not even meaning it. You know what I mean? I'm just like, hey, y'all, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Especially if I know you. Now, if I'm brand new, I try to be way more nice and way more authentic and blah, 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 blah. So they can relate to me. You with me? And then I go, all right, now here's what we're going to do. Now, the problem is if you're a softy, you get into all that rigmarole, you get into all that lovey-dovey stuff, and you never get around to the part where they got to do something. And then by the time you get there, they're glazed over, and they don't know what you want them to do. You can't make it construction. You can't make it like that. You can't be no softy. You got to say, get your mess in your hand. Let's go. We're getting ready to go hammering, sawing, picking up. Dusting off, dirtying up. What's that? What's that saw that you tear stuff off with? Saws off. Get your saws off and let's start tearing stuff all to hell. You know, we got to go. You with me? And look, you get somebody wussing around with little saws offs. You them old man. He but let me show you how to work that thing. Sure. You know what I mean? Just that just take forever. It's like what are you doing? You're trying to carve a Mona Lisa or something? You are doing some of those little statue things with all the little parts and everything? What is wrong with you? Let's Tear that building down. You with me? So give them the expectation, then be the nicey-nicey if you're a softy. Now, if you're a psycho like me and um, Robert Wilson, Andy Riddle, some of these people, and um, Tony Carey, Tony, you got to lead with a blah, 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 and then hit them with what they do. But the ones that are like... I ain't going to call no names, but the ones that are loosey-goosey and they can't get people to do stuff, softies, if they... They, they need to lead with the expectations. It, it'll change your life. And then those of you that are questioning stuff, watch this. This is the thing that drives me crazy. Is it Hunter? Is that your name? Yes, sir. First name or last name? First name. First name. I had a Fogelman sweatshirt on this morning. Is that your last name? Yes, sir. All right, watch this. What most people do, the people that have problems, the sergeant, the, the, people, that, the people that don't take the heel, the, here's what they do. What's wrong with the recruiting system, and who do I blame? What's wrong with the public, and who do I blame? Because they don't want to, the public won't buy. Let me tell you why. And it ain't me. Let me tell you the reason. Blame and who to blame. What's wrong and who to blame. That's where they are. The people that kill it, what do I want? How do I get it? What do I want, sis? What do I want? 
What do I want? This, this is my coin of success. I invented it. Okay? Brian Tracy told me all about it, but I invented the coin. He just talked about the coin. I invented a real coin. There ain't another one in the world. This is the only one. I mean, there's, there's uh, a few hundred of these, but I'm saying this is the only one. It's just like this. It's what do I want and how do I get it? It ain't what's wrong with the business and who do I blame. Now, when it comes to recruiting, let me tell you why I can't get them through the system. Let me tell you why I can't get them selling. And let me tell you who I'm going to blame for it. I don't blame you, Andy. I blame Robbie. I don't blame Robbie. I blame Foresters. Like, it don't matter who you blame. Does that matter? That's when Facebook people and them Instagram people, they're whining, and Twitter people, they're whining. They're telling you what's wrong in the world and who to blame. I saw something that said, um, when people are telling you, like these people that are telling, I don't know, it's telling you what's wrong in politics. And then some people argue about it. Some people take note of it. People that are on this coin, ignore it. Mm -hmm. People that are on this coin, that, that's not their thing. Their thing is what do they want and how do they get it. And then people say, well, you know, I got you on the what and the how, but the political environment does affect you. <laughs> so what you're telling me is you don't like the political environment and you know who you're going to blame. What I'm telling you is what I want and how I'm going to get it. And you're going to sit there and watch. And you're going to see me on television. You're going to see me at the ball game. man said, I ain't seen you. I ain't seen you at the high school ball game lately. I said, I ain't seen you in first class on the airplane lately either. You with me? Hey, guys, listen. This is a lot of psychological and stuff here that Jeff helped me with. And I hope it makes sense to y'all getting this balance. But, um... Oh, also I want to tell y'all, um, oh, let me tell you, I was going to tell you, I said I was going to tell you the last thing, but this is the last thing for real. When you hire somebody, I need for you to get under. Like, here's where people get stuck. They go like, come in here, 19-year-old. Your name Drew? Yes, sir. All right, Drew. So you can come right here. All right, look. So when I hire you, some people say to me, I don't like this about him. I wish he'd change this about him. He ain't done this. He ain't got a license. 23%. I go like, who, who's, have you got anybody started yet in your business? Mm, not yet. I'm getting not yet. Who, who's the most likely candidate? He's my best friend who's ready to, who's ready to do some work. Where's he at right now? He's in High Point, North Carolina. He's in High Point. Have you invited him to come down here? I have for Tuesday. He's going to be there Tuesday? Mm -hmm. Next week, Tuesday? This coming Tuesday. This coming Tuesday. That's called driving depth. Rather than worry about all the things he ain't got, we got somebody coming Tuesday. So what if somebody wasn't coming Tuesday? Let me, this guy right here, you ain't even, you just in here for an interview, right? He's doing for an intern. If, if what I've described, selling, making two, three hundred thousand crazy, other than yourself, which is obviously the most clear candidate, who do you think is the best person that might be interested in something like this? Uh, other people? Yeah. Name. I need a first name. Uh, Josh Brooks. You see how I did that? I need a first name. I didn't go, well, it's good business. You can trust me. I was like, give me a first name. <laughs> he gave me a first and a last name. Boom. Who's the next person you think about? Cameron Smith. Cameron. See, so, see right here is, I don't know where we're going to hire him, but I dang sure got two more chances. Mm -hmm. These other two dudes right here. And by the way, of all the dum-dums he knows, this is the two best. Mm -hmm. I, I sifted through 200... 20 people, that's about how he knows. About 220. He only, if he was just a typical, how old are you? 21. If you're a typical 21 year old, he'd only know 160. But his daddy owns a business, so he knows a lot more people. So he's going to know 220. So how do you know that? I just I read it and I know it. That's how he knows. So he sifted through 220 people, gave me the two best. And by their way, they're about his age. And by the way, his are about his age. Does that make sense? Don't get stuck on this person. This guy, guy, I mean, here's, an, here's a prime example. This guy, he is called, this guy hired this guy. This guy hired this guy. This guy called me. This guy's got something, something wrong with him. Uh, I'll just tell you, he, he's got a felony. I said, well, good. He said, what's good about that? Who's he know that might be ain't got one? Does that make sense? He got to build him a network, right? Because he can't go out of state without checking with a parole officer, number one. Number two, Carry, half carriers or 90% of them ain't going to hire him. He needs to hire some people, right? You say, well, he's going to have... No, what about him? We done left him. We down him. Does that make sense? Well, he, well he, how's he going to sell for force? He can't sell for force. Let's, does that make sense? I've done left... The, 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 the train done left the station 
The plane done took off. The boy, he done went off on the foul line. He getting ready to slam it on you. Does that make sense? You're worried about up here. I'm worried about down here. You're worried about something I ain't worried about. I ain't worried about that. Well, what do I say to him? I don't know. Kiss him. Hug him. Tell him he's pretty tall. Whatever. Get somebody hired underneath him. He gonna need a network to build a business. Does that make sense? Don't get stuck here. Let's go here. And by the way, when you get here, don't get stuck there. Go here. So when are we going to stop? When we get to China, that's when we're going to stop. Down one foot, down one foot, down one foot. We get to China, we'll find somebody. Does that make sense? Somebody in between here is going to kill this thing without your expertise. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to teach them everything if you get a person that's really, really good. But you ain't going to get them good getting onesie twosie and setting them on like a chicken. You got to put them in like, like that right there. And then when you hire somebody, find somebody underneath them, find somebody underneath them. Well, I'm call our list. Call the first two or three. Hey, who would be you married yet? No, sir. You going to get married one day maybe? Yes. Okay, would them two boys be in your, um, your wedding thing? Yes, sir. What do you call them? Uh, Groom's one? Groom's one. Yeah. Any other one you're thinking about? I've got a few other names as well. That's the people I want to talk to. I ain't calling them. I ain't talking to them 200 dum-dums. You with me? I'm looking at those top bad to the bone people who are going to call them for him. What if he won't give me a top? He don't trust you and he don't like you. He trusts me and he likes me. He trusts me and he likes me. You know why he trusts me? Because I talk it and I walk it. Does that make sense? And you keep that balance. You don't go blah, 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 or you don't do blah, blah, blah. It's got to be a balance. You get that balance. They trust you and they like you. They give you the list. Boom, y'all. Let's blow this thing up. 2020 is going to be huge. I can't, I can't wait till next week's Red Forester's thing comes out and see who's winning that. And this recruiting thing, all that hundred and some thousand dollars we're going to give away. There's so many contests going on. Make sure that your people... Oh, yeah. Don't forget about that texting machine I got. That sucker is out of control for recruiting, touching base, and building your business. It's, that gum, I'm telling you, text is... Whoo, that is used to be email. Email gone. People don't look at emails. We still use it, but whoo, text, that's what I'm talking about. All right. All right, guys. Love y'all. Got to go. Boom. Oh, man.